The back rooms. You've been here before. Object number 77, involuntarily portable radio. Image caption, a front view of the radio. Description, the involuntarily portable radio is a standard issue portable radio with seemingly no brand other than the letter Q painted on the right side. The radio does not have a dial to change frequency. Footnote, both dials on the front of the radio control volume. Additionally, they are only capable of increasing the volume. And footnote, and only ever broadcasts one channel, a seemingly long-running talk show known as Talking with Quinoa. More details on these broadcasts are disclosed below. This radio appears to materialize spontaneously on random levels, always doing so in an area populated by humans, but never within anyone's line of sight. Witnesses have reported it appearing behind their backs, around a corner, or on the other side of a closed door. Upon being noticed by a human, the radio will play a broadcast from the aforementioned Talking with Quinoa for roughly 30 to 120 seconds. When the broadcast is over, the radio will remain silent until it is out of eyesight, at which point it will disappear and reappear elsewhere within 1 to 72 hours. As of now, it is believed that there is only one instance of this object. The titular Quinoa, who hosts the show, appears to have a uniquely scattered worldview. His knowledge of any given topic is limited and often incorrect. Episodes of Talking with Quinoa are usually nonsensical and disjointed, with very few reoccurring topics between broadcasts. Past talking points have included a ranking of rock-based materials based on how quote-unquote crunchy they are, dating advice, seances, and a discussion of the merits of cannibalism. It is of note that quinoa has never been seen or heard from outside of broadcasts. No accounts of in-person encounters have ever been confirmed to be legitimate. Discovery This object was first discovered on Level 2 by an anonymous wanderer. When asked to further describe the experience, the witness stated, I don't really know. I turned around, and it was there. The show came on for like 30 seconds, and then I turned around, and it was gone again. That's all I can really tell you. Recorded Broadcasts The following is a series of transcripts of Talking with Quinoa broadcasts. Additional notes will be added as necessary. Additional transcripts are available in the Talking with Quinoa extended episode log. Transcript 1 Hello, and welcome to episode 230 of Talking with Quinoa. Today, I'd like to talk about concrete. I think concrete is probably one of the best things yet invented. I mean, it's just an all-purpose material. Make a sandwich with it, in case your friend's in a block of it. I mean, heck, you could probably build a house out of it. I used to know this guy who would send me, like, three blocks of crisp, dry concrete every week or so without fail. It was the absolute highlight of my week, seeing them fall through the wall and go clunk as they landed in the corner of the studio. What a guy. Invest in concrete. Follow your heart. Transcript 2. Hello, and welcome to episode 80 of Talking with Quinoa. Today, let's read some tarot cards. Quinoa seems to be haphazardly rifling through some form of storage. Let's see. Uh, card of the day. It's the Chariot. Whoa, those people are naked. Whoa, what a neat card. Also, I don't have the foggiest idea of what it means. Interpret it your own way, I guess. Follow your heart and remember the Chariot. Transcript 3 Hello, and welcome to episode 124 of Talking with Quinoa. How many liquids are there? Water, blood, oil, what else? I've been wondering about this for a while, and I figure there's probably at least a couple. The world's a pretty big place, so I bet there's probably some new liquid being invented in fucking Japan or something that we don't even know about. Liquid dirt or something like that. Wait, did I just invent a new liquid? Whoa, that's pretty neat. Follow your heart, guys. Transcript 4 Hello, and welcome to episode 59 of Talking with Quinoa. Today's topic, cauliflower. What the fuck is it? Is it a fruit? A vegetable? A mineral? What the hell is it supposed to be? 
Nobody has ever explained this to me. It creeps me the hell out. Incoherent mumbling. Fucking cauliflower. Knock off broccoli looking piece of... Oh shit, we're still on air. Uh, follow your heart. More incoherent mumbling. Cauliflower, what even... Wait, no. I press the... Episode ends abruptly. Transcript 5. Hello, and welcome to episode 312 of Talking with Quinoa. You know what scares me? Whales. Yeah, they don't hurt you, but they could. Gosh, it makes me shudder to think about it. Do you know they have hair? I know. What the fuck, right? Fish can't have hair. You're not a person, you stupid fish. Follow your heart, unless you're a whale. Additional notes. Following this broadcast, the radio did not rematerialize for an unusually long time of eight months. Transcript 6. Hello, and welcome to episode 313 of Talking with Quinoa. So, I took some time to think, and I came up with a way to deal with the whale thing. Quinoa's advice? If you see a whale on the beach, leave it. Put those stupid, hairy fish in their place. That'll show them for sure. It's so weird that nobody's talking about this, you know? People are so scared of sharks, but no one's worried about whales. Someone stop the whales! Follow your heart. Additional notes. This broadcast was transmitted following the reappearance of the radio after its eight-month disappearance. Transcript 7. Hello, and welcome to episode 27 of Talking with Quinoa. I don't see what the big deal is about global warming. I mean, I don't want to be cold all the time. I don't think anyone does. With that in mind, what's wrong with making the planet warm? That'd be so nice. I, Quinoa, support global warming, and you should too. Support the cause. Melt an iceberg. Follow your heart. Transcript 8. Hello, and welcome to episode 30 of Talking with Quinoa. Let's see what the tarot card of the day is. Looks like it's the magician. He doesn't look much like a magician to me, more like a hoarder. Why's he got all that stuff? And why is he holding a candle? That's no wand, silly. You'll burn yourself trying to conjure up demons. Luckily, I can do it safely. Watch. Quinoa proceeds to recite what is presumed to be an incantation of unknown origin. The distant sound of a woman screaming can be heard in the background, followed by the rattling of chains. Well, that was neat. Follow your heart. Additional notes. It is unclear as to whether or not the above incantation was successful in summoning a demon. However, witnesses of the broadcast described a taste of blood in their mouths for the next two hours. The Back Rooms You've been here before. Talking with Quinoa, Extended Episode Log The following is an extended log of Talking with Quinoa episodes broadcasted from Object 77. Additional notes will be added as necessary. Please note that these logs are in no particular order. Transcript 9. Hello, and welcome to episode 191 of Talking with Quinoa. Current events. Let's talk about current events. Apparently, the world's going to end in 1689. <laughs> Boy, sure hope none of you have any loved ones left. I don't. I don't love anything. Except for my audience. Gotcha. Enjoy the end of the world, everybody. Follow your heart. Transcript 10. Hello, and welcome to episode 266 of Talking with Quinoa. Today, we'll be opening fan mail. At least, I think it's fan mail. There were boxes outside the studio, and they were marked with some letters that probably spelled out quinoa in another language, and now they're inside the studio with me. There's a sound of a cardboard box being brutally torn in half. This is just a bunch of broken glass in a box, and a note with words I don't think I'm allowed to say on air. Quinoa pauses for several seconds. I love it! Thank you so much for your mail, everyone. I have no idea how you found my address. Follow your heart. Transcript 11. Hello, and welcome to episode 330 of Talking with Quinoa. Do we really need all those elements on the periodic table? I mean, some of them are probably important. I never leave the house without my trusty brick of iradium. But all 118? That seems excessive. We should cut it down to, like... Eight or something. Send the rest of those pesky building blocks of the universe back into the ether where they belong. Follow your heart, everybody. Transcript 12. Hello, and welcome to episode 142 of Talking with Quinoa. What do you guys think about sand? I, for one, am a huge fan. A sand fan, if you will. 
The mainstream media is so busy talking about politics and news and all that other mumbo jumbo, and nobody ever entertains the thought that maybe we should really be discussing what really matters. And what really matters to me is sand. Quinoa's voice sounds like he's talking with his mouth full. Man, I think we got a lot done today. Good episode. Follow your heart. Transcript 13. Hello, and welcome to episode 61 of Talking with Quinoa. Sorry to get all personal, but I had the worst experience on my way here. I was talking to my buddy, and he told me that it said gullible on the ceiling. So I looked, because I was curious as to why somebody would put that specific word there, and I couldn't see it. I looked and looked, but it just didn't say gullible on the ceiling. I gave up after a couple hours, but when I turned to ask my friend where he saw it, he was gone. I feel so silly. If any of you find it, let me know. Follow your heart. Transcript 14. Hello, and welcome to episode 159 of Talking with Quinoa. B. There's a bee in the studio, and it's really big, and there's a bee in the studio, and I have no idea how it got in here, but it's here, and it's freaking me out, and sweet merciful lord above, get away from me! Ah! Follow your heart! The broadcast ends immediately after. Transcript 15. Hello, and welcome to episode 327 of Talking with Quinoa. Who's in the mood for some more fan mail? Today, we have a letter from Tommy, age 10. Let's see what it says. There's a sound of paper being torn to shreds. Wow, this is some awful handwriting. Dear Quinoa, hey, that's me. Have you ever considered being thrown into a turbine? Well, Tommy, I can't say I have, but it certainly sounds exciting. Maybe I'll try it this weekend, and I'll tell you my thoughts next episode. Thanks again for your mail, everybody. Follow your heart. Transcript 16. Hello, and welcome to episode 146 of Talking with Quinoa. Hey, liberals, I have a question for you. Why is it that you claim to love the environment? But when I start talking about eating sand, you're like, no, no, you can't do that. That isn't what we meant. Then what do you mean, liberals? Checkmate. Oh, also, liberals, I have another question for you. What's a liberal? Double checkmate. Follow your heart. Transcript 17. Hello, and welcome to episode 83 of Talking with Quinoa. Have any of you tried meditating? My friends and I always talk about it, and how it clears their heads. I'd say it's pretty darn clear already, so I don't see a point to it. All my thoughts are nice and neatly organized, like a meat processor. Heh. <laughs> Meditating feels weird to me anyways, to be honest with you. Every time I do it, the world just disappears, and then I open my eyes and everything's back again. Anyway, follow your heart. Transcript 18 Hello, and welcome to episode 350 of Talking with Quinoa. What's the deal with the afterlife, huh? What do you think happens when we die? I think we float up into the morning sky, slicing gracefully through the heavens like a pigeon spreading its wings for the very last time, until we finally reach the biggest cloud, who turns us into clouds. Then we float around until we turn into rain. I think it's a pretty sound theory. I mean, if it's not the objective truth, then where do all those clouds come from? I can certainly not think of any other possible explanation for that. Enjoy the rest of your natural life, everybody. Follow your heart. Transcript 19. Hello, and welcome to episode 5 of Talking with Quinoa. The next two months are going to be busy for us. I just can't help having so many amazing ideas. If only there was some way for me to remember them so I could use them for the show. Like, just yesterday, I was thinking about this idea I had. It was a really good idea. What an idea it was. Such a good one. Let me see if I can remember it. Quinoa pauses for around four seconds. Oh yeah, that was a good one. A great one, even. Follow your heart. Transcript 20. Boo, did I scare you? Welcome to episode 31 of Talking with Quinoa. I mean, Talking with Dracula. It's so spooky. This show is so spooky today. Please, someone, stop the spooks. I'm just messing with you guys. It's not really Dracula. It's me, Quinoa. And today, let's read a tarot card. The Ten of Swords. Ooh, very scary. No clue what it means, though. Follow your spooky heart. Transcript 21. Hello, and welcome to episode 378 of Talking with Quinoa. Sorry if the audio is a little muffled. I encased the whole studio in a block of cement just to see what would happen, and I can't seem to get rid of it. It's really bugging me. There's a sound of something dense and metallic clattering to the floor. Ooh, a conveniently placed sledgehammer. Hold on, guys. It'll just be a second. Follow your heart. 
The sounds of incredible sledgehammer-based violence can be heard for 20 seconds until the broadcast ends. Transcript 22. Hello, and welcome to episode 404 of Talking with Quinoa. Do you think we're all here for a reason? Do you think a destiny is, like, a thing? Without getting too introspective, I like to think everybody's got some sort of vague plan laid out for them to some extent. Like, you can kind of play in the space and figure out for yourself and make mistakes, but you're gonna cover the same bases at some point. It's kind of comforting to believe that everything happens for a reason. Except for me. I am the cruel joke of an elder god with too much free time and a terrible sense of humor. Follow your heart. Transcript 23. Hello, and welcome to episode 405 of Talking with Quinoa. So, I was on my way to the studio, and I had this funny thought. What if Quinoa goes quiet for five seconds? Actually, you know what? No, not today. Episode ends abruptly. Transcript 24. Hello, and welcome to episode 406 of Talking with Quinoa. What's your favorite food? I don't really know what mine is. I think it could be eggs, or maybe sand. Maybe it's eggs with sand. That sounds nice. There's a long pause. I think that's probably good enough. Follow your heart. Transcript 25. Hello, and welcome to episode 410 of Talking with Quinoa. Do you ever feel like a joke just goes on for too long? Like it should have ended a really long time ago? Another very long pause. Oh my god, guys. Breaking news. Apparently there's this thing called sandpaper. Holy shit. Follow your heart.